Hey, wonderful people. What's going on? Today, I'll be looking at uh, John Vervetos. Uh, it's a new addition to my arsenal. I'll be talking about this fragrance here. John Vervetos, sorry. Uh, this is called Artisan Pure. This, I think, is one of the latest flankers from their line, uh, from the Artisan line. And I'd like, you know, uh, I'd like to let you know about my initial thoughts on this. It's pretty much new still, but I worn quite a few times. I'd like to know because I have a couple other fragrances that were in the queue. Uh, but I decided to talk about this because this is summer. So this gets the priority. This right here, it could be a great, great solution for your summer so, uh, seasons, all right? So yeah, I'm a little bit slow because I woke up. I passed out yesterday after we had a nice hangout with uh, two of our members in the community, Shafi Bhai and Noor Bhai. Thank you so much for your time. We had a great, great chit chat like for three, four solid hours. It was stormy outside. So it was very nice weather. So I was, I took this fragrance um, with a couple of others. Just to like to know, just wanted to know their thoughts. So I'll let you know their thoughts as well. Uh, so remember, this is uh, actually uh, my initial impression. I could be like, like not right on kind of few areas. All right. But bear with me. I'll let you know how I feel about it. So before I start, John Verbato's house, as you guys, many of you know, I'd like to let you know that uh, many of their fragrances do not have that best uh, longevity or projection. Like some of them smell really, really good, you know, like some of them smell like niche, you know, like Dark Rebel. And I have Artisan Aqua. It's a very nice summer scent, but many people do not get the best. I get really good longevity from uh, Artisan Aqua, actually. But their bottles are really, really pretty. Uh, they are kind of affordable. And they're from, house, I think, in States, America. And they do things differently. They smell everything different. But I'd like to let you know one other thing before I start. I'm saying the same thing. Uh, that is, these kind of fragrances, like you guys know this fragrance, the pure, it's kind of hype in the community. So when you actually fall, uh, like when you actually buy or try to purchase a fragrance, you have high expectations. Do not do that for any fragrance. It's my request to you. Because sometimes people will tell you it smells like, this fragrance smells like a lot of niche fragrances, I'll tell you. But at the same time, you smell it and you don't get exactly that hot clone or same vibe or, or let's say the same smell and you'll be disappointed. Maybe you, you'll be thinking, why well, didn't get it? Do not hold expectations, you know. Always keep an open mind when you're trying a fragrance. You, it might work for you, it may not work for you. It's a very uh, sort of like a, you know, it, it depends from people to people. It's a very, uh, fragrance are very subjective. That's what I'm trying to say. So keep an open mind about a fragrance. It, every fragrance cannot be perfect, but it can be if it's your thing. Right, so here we go. After a long talk, this is the box beautiful looking, artistic looking box? It looks like it has some uh pattern on it, yes, and you can feel it, you know, like it's very nicely done. Okay, and on the top, it looks like an wooden sort of a dusty sort of a presentation. Side like this continues back the uh, image of the bottle actually, and it, it actually looks like that. Right, side nothing much. Bottom is your other information, all the good stuff you can get. And uh, this is 125 mil. So this is also very good. At this moment, price point is a little bit on the higher side. If you buy retail, you have to pay around 70 to 75 US dollars. Uh, I got this for 65 uh, after some discounts, I guess. And uh, it's, it's the price around there. Usually, Vervito's prices are around 50, 55 dollars, 45 dollars. Newer ones, a little bit higher. This is the big bottle. I think there's also a small size bottle of 75 mil. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen that one. Bangladesh only will get big bottles so this bottle is a piece of art it looks like a beach hut sort of a feel nicely knitted i don't know what you call this thing the string sort of it's all very genuine you can see it's very white very nicely done this bottle is very beautiful done. bottom is your uh, this nice sort of wooden uh, plate they give the information on a sticker the cap as i was telling you it has this woody feel but i think it's plastic okay i'm just thinking i'm not sure it has this dusty sort of a uh, you know it looks like there's a dust you can blow away but there's no <laughs> it's a light cap but looks very nice it has uh, some detailing john barbados artisan uh, pure and the uh, sprayer you also have that nice sort of detailing going on spray on this is all right it's not bad at all i don't have anything because i just woke up let's try this and uh, i really really trust me i i'll tell you i really like this fragrance. <laughs> okay sprayer is all right it's nothing out of the you know out of the ordinary so this one doesn't click on place so I would suggest do not pick it up by the cap. Bottle is ratio between bottle and the cap. It's very, very different. So when you pick up the light cap, you see, I'll, I'll show you. 
it might come off like that and bottle might poof, fall and break. Always be very careful handling your bottles because you might lose money. So let that settle down for a while. So this fragrance gets a uh, comparison with two lot of niche fragrances. And one of them, I believe, is one of the flankers from Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino. Uh, I don't know what that was. I don't remember exactly. But uh, if uh, you are holding this against the Tom Ford fragrance, your expectation will be much higher. You know, you really, really would want to like get something that is of that quality, right? So for me, uh, I actually had that expectation. And when I sprayed the first time, you know, I kind of saw it, but the dry down, you know, it, it goes different sort of opening and dry down and has different, different direction. And uh, also gets compared to Eau Sauvage. Uh, I'll show you as time goes. Let me show you. Actually, let me show you. Uh, one of the fragrances designer said it gets compared to is uh, Dior Eau Sauvage Cologne. I believe is the opening citruses they're talking about. Okay. Then it. I would also say it smells kind of like if you, if you like Nero... Uh, this is Ferrari Bright Neroli. If you like the Neroli note in this, because this one is uh, Neroli Portofino clone, all right? So it does, you can actually see uh, why it gets compared to. I actually am telling you, and it gets compared to that. Also, if you like the Neroli in uh, Mugler Cologne, if you like the style, of the way uh, Terre Dermes Outre Fresh is done, if you dig this fragrance, I'm not saying these are exactly the same, but citruses, Neroli, you know, like sometimes orange, and then the citrus of Dioron Cologne. Okay, if you enjoy these, also, if you like, uh, I'll show you two other niche fragrances. Okay, I have a small sample of Georgia of Neo. Okay, and uh, this is just my opinion. You can definitely uh, say it's not whatever. It's okay, no problem. Everybody's opinion is correct. No one is wrong. So the shooting star is Georgia of Neo. The citrus is in this very, very. This fragrance is amazing. It's the most natural fragrance you'll smell, but uh, the performance got some issue on me. But the smell, you know, those citruses and uh, some aromatic side of this fragrance. Hermes line, uh, Unjardin Surlenil, Sur, uh, then Surlenil, uh, Mediterranean or something, you know, they have this few lines. So this fragrance is sort of like this Mediterranean themed. It has some green to it, but the opening, it's that superstar, it's the rockster that opens with the clementine, orange, citrus, neroli, and there is, I think, thyme. Thyme is giving a little bit opening. It gives that a uh, nice sort of kick, and you actually get a little bit peppery kick to it. It's very sharp. It's very, very sharp. And that opening, uh, it may, you know, also remind you of uh, Armani Oak or um, this kind of citruses. So it's sort of like a green, uh, sharp, uh, peppery, and then there's a heart, there's a, I believe, a ginger, According to Fragrantica, ginger and I think petit grain. So those are kind of like a spicy notes. And I get in between both. I get a little bit like, you know, the ginger has a spicy kick to it as well as the, as well as the pepper, petit grain. <clears throat> so it does have a little bit peppery, uh, orangey, beautiful, neroli orange, this opening. So that's why it becomes ideal, sunny day, daytime, summer wearing. The moment you put this on, it will complement nicely with the heat. And the dry down will go a little bit different, but I think this fragrance is very universal, very universal. Anybody can wear it, I think. Any age can wear it. Uh, it smells like one of those almost uh, safe blind by worthy. If you blind bought Sauvage, you can actually blind by this. It doesn't smell like Sauvage, but it's that category. You know? So there are a few fragrances I would never say blind by anything. But this is one of those kind of like a leaning towards safer side. 85% of the people will definitely like it. Yesterday when we had the meetup, uh, one of my brother, uh, Shafi Bhai, he liked it a lot. But uh, Nur Bhai, he's like, uh, no, it didn't work for him. I guess it's the citrus he didn't like. But then again, you know, as I told you, it's equity taste. Fragrances are always subjective, right? So definitely try before you buy. I would suggest get a sample of it or decant of it. This fragrance won't blow you away like that. The dry down, it goes pretty uh, simple. I get a little bit of, a, in the end, amber, a uh, little bit of a musk maybe little bit of woodiness, very light and some green, you know, some herbal green, it will stay. Very fresh, very linear, but lasts the longest on me from this John Barbados house. So, so far, performance is good. I wouldn't say beast mode, but for this kind of fragrance, it's eight. And if you get designer price point, something that lasts something like Neroli Portofino better than that, or, you know, like Ferrari Bright Neroli, this lasts better than Ferrari Bright Neroli, as much as Migler Cologne does, even more than that. So, yeah, performance is not bad at all. It's not weak. Performance is awesome. So projection, first uh, one, 
one hour, it will project something like two to three feet away. After that, it will be like like an aura around you, right? Uh, so far, that's the case with me. I can smell it. I can detect every now and then. I know I'm wearing clothes. It's not weak. It's a very strong skin scent. But this would be ideal if the sun is up, you know, like sun's there. If you need something bright to cheer you up, you know, just see the happy fragrance. This is it. Nothing complicated, nothing. After the dry down, it doesn't go blah. It's very youthful. You can wear it casually. The workplace would be great. Uh, you can meet up your friends and stuff like that. Hangouts. This is a great fragrance for that. But uh, what I will also say, it's uh, people are, the way they're putting it, do not think of it as a masterpiece, like it's a solution to life. <laughs> All the problems in life. No such thing. Keep an open mind. This is another designer release, which is a very, very decent and great designer release, according to me, to my nose. I really like it. I think it will work with most people. It's very uh, user-friendly kind of a fragrance. Uh, and those comparison to those Nero Liporofino, uh, Tom Ford, uh, even I would say Georgia, those are not mentioned credibly, I'm telling you. Uh, this, those are legit, okay? This is actually like simplicity. If you talk about niche simplicity, like simple fragrances in niche game, this is one of them. I wouldn't see any point of paying $200 for any retail on any so-called niche fragrance which are aquatic clean uh go for this you know when it will hit the discounter 55 dollars 50 dollars when it hits the discounter it's dumb rich 125 mil uh, it smells like those awesome fragrances you know and uh it has that uh, mediterranean blue aquatic sea vibe as well it has a little bit of citruses it gets compliments women who love this fragrance so yes you cannot really lose much with this fragrance but if you really want performer, if you ask me what is a good performer for summer, I will always say, without any thoughts, just go for Sauvage. You know, this is like, if you just want one bottle. But those fragrance enthusiasts, yes, this is a great fragrance. It's, it's a really, really nice fragrance. But if you smelled a lot of fragrances so far, niche and designer side, you might not find this very original, genuine. It will smell very familiar, but it's a good familiar scent. You know, you, you like it. You're like, yes, it's a good uh, progress in the, like, realm of this kind of fragrances so it got, does evoke that same feel of a uh, sea you know like uh, citruses by the beach you can play beach volleyball and stuff so longevity projection decent so far uh, very i would say good not bad at all for john Barbados, this is the longest lasting on me uh smell i will give this like nine out of ten very nice smell uh, versatility i think only for summer and spring um winter time it will be a bit weak all right it's not that dark and overall, this one, initial impression, I'm going to give this 8.5 out of 10, right? So check out John Barbato's Artisan Pure, okay? Very amazing bottle. If you get it, you'll get the presentation as a bonus, I would say. And that niche feel is definitely there. It has that simplicity, smoothness, no alcohol blast, good quality fragrance, okay? Definitely check out John Barbato's Artisan Pure. Thank you so much, guys. I We're approaching the 10K. Um, I don't know, really. I, people ask me, like, I, I, I'm avoiding the question, like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Just let's see, because it's been a while I've been working, and but I hopefully I get there soon, and I'll be getting there before many other many other people in terms of people who've been in the industry for a long time, and for that I'm very really grateful. You know, you guys are recognizing my work, and you guys are appreciating my work, which is helping me to move forward. Right, so I'll be doing more and more work for you guys. I swear, I, I, I'll promise that much. All right, so take care, guys. I'll let you know what I will do in my 10k subscribers. God willing. Take care, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.